Now we know the three basic principles of health research and first one of them was planning. Second was teamwork and third were three reviews that is scientific, ethical and regulatory review. Now the first principle, the planning phase is very important. So let us see some critical consideration in planning phase. The first is there should be adequate justification to conduct the research study. That means research should be scientific because when you do any research, you are basically doing investment in terms of money, time and manpower. The second, uh, your research question should be very clear. There should be no ambiguity and it should be very focused. It should be very specific. The third consideration is that all the variable and outcome definitions that you are using, they should be standard. There has to be some reference to it and they should be unambiguous. For example, if you're looking at cancer cervix, then what we call as carcinoma in C2 and what we call as invasive cancer has to be known to everybody who is involved in that particular research. The fourth consideration is sample and sample size. Now it has two dimensions. First, sample should be representative of the population in which study is being conducted. That means sample should be having external validity. This we will learn more about in chapter 8. But let us now understand that when you want to generalize your uh, study sample finding to the population, uh, the sample should be very similar to that population. And this is known as generalizability or external validity or representativeness. So sample should be representative. And second, the sample size should be adequate so that uh, the study has enough power to draw meaningful conclusions. So adequate sample size is a prerequisite for implementation of research. Now let us see some MCQs. So which of the following is not a component of research study? Setting up an institutional scientific committee. Sample size? Yes, we have to calculate. Development of study tool? Yes, you have to make a questionnaire. And framing the research question? Yes. But not every researcher will form a scientific committee. Scientific committee is already there in any institute. So answer here is A. Which of the following is not a critical consideration in planning a health research? Adequate justification? Yes. Clear and focused research question? Yes. Standard case definitions of variables? Yes. Financial gain? No. Financial gain is not a critical condition in planning a health research. Identify the correct statement about implementation of research. Research finding must be approved by funder? No. Research finding must be error free. There is no research which can be error free there. If you do a research, obviously errors are there. Third, adequate sample size is prerequisite. Yes, you require adequate sample size to draw meaningful conclusions. Fourth, pilot study can be done during data analysis stage. No, pilot study can be done before starting the study, right? So answer here is C. What is appropriate for sample and sample size? Sample should be representative of population. That means external valid. Yes, obviously. Sample should be adequate. So we can draw meaningful conclusions. Yes. So both A and B should be selected. So here answer is C. Which of the following statements are correct regarding defining inclusion and exclusion criteria in a study protocol? They should be vague because they will allow greater and easy enrollment. No. Everything has to be specific in any research, so vagueness is not allowed. They should be very specific? Yes. They should be very large in number? No, not necessarily. You can limit them or uh, a fewer uh, inclusion exclusion criteria. It is good. It is not important to define exclusion criteria in a clinical trial. No, you have to define exclusion criteria in any kind of clinical trial. So here answer is B. Mm. 